Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I am going to take you around with me. I am, we are kind of packing and getting ready to go on our beach vacation. We are gonna go to Destin for a few days, Destin, Florida, and we are super excited. But I am getting everything packed and thought I'd kind of bring you along and show you everything that I'm gonna pack for myself, my three kids, and my husband really packs for himself, but you know, I get all this stuff washed up and get a few of his things together for him since he is um, working every single day leading up to us leaving. Um, so he, you know, has to kind of throw a lot of his stuff together last minute. So it just kind of helps him out a little bit for me to get, make sure he has everything that he needs like right there so he can just throw all of his stuff in his bag. I've mentioned a few times already um, this, woo, this candle that I love. It's that um, suntan hand candle from Bath and Body Works. Oh, so good it is burning right now on my I have it burning right now in this bathroom downstairs oh, it's so good and I have been sitting in here in the kitchen and I can smell this from this bathroom all the way into my kitchen so man their candles for Bath and Body Works I mean we all know this I'm sure you know they have such a good scent throw it's awesome I mean, we're gearing up to go to the beach and it smells like the beach in my home <laughs> but I'm gonna take you up and show you I kind of have all the clothes and stuff laid out and I'll show you everything that I have laid out so far and what we plan on bringing to the beach for a family of five okay so this is the state of my bedroom floor right now <laughs> this is my daughter Gwen's stuff so I have of course two bathing suits she got this really cute the other day at Target is her first bikini actually so I'm kind of not so sure about that because normally she just wears one piece, but has this really cute like mermaid tail. Does that kind of like a cover up that she can wear with it? So cute. So that goes with her little bikini, and then she, there's also this rash guard that she can use for, of course, more coverage at the beach. But it just says swim like a mermaid <laughs> so it's perfect to go with that and then i mean you know of course undies and socks and like all her hair stuff and she wants to bring her little purse and some little earrings and then she has all of her outfits here some pajamas and then they each have like a beach bag and then their sunglasses her hat can you tell her favorite color is pink <laughs> and then in here inside of here she has her um goggles and a snorkel then over here with the boys, I have all their stuff laid out. This is Wyatt's, the 10 year old. Um, he has this cool thing. I got it at Target for like $23, $24. It came with the little flippers for your feet and the snorkel and the goggles. So that's cool. That's his beach bag. Gwen got the mermaid. He got the taco one. These beach bags were from the Target dollar spot a while back. So, and there's his sunglasses. I still need to get him a hat. Um, but then the swimsuits, all of his clothes, pajamas, underwear, and socks. So I like to lay everything out so I can kind of make sure um, visually that they have everything before I just start throwing stuff in a suitcase. And they help me kind of pick out what they'd want to wear. Again, underwear, socks, pajamas, all of Sam's outfits. Here's... um his swimming trunks or his swimsuits and his little rash guard as well he's got his little hat his beach bag has the dinosaurs and then the sunglasses again they have their suitcases over here I think they need some new luggage so Sam says Winnie the Pooh I think he needs to upgrade because he's almost five so I think I'm gonna upgrade his soon this is Wyatt's they, um, his their grandmother got them all their luggage and they've had them for a few years. So Wyatt's is still fine for a 10 year old. And then this is Gwen's. I'm kinda, I think I wanna get her an actual suitcase, but for right now this is what she uses. Okay, then over here, I have a couple extra beach towels. I think I'm gonna get all their beach towels and put them in their little beach bags that I showed you. We like to bring a quilt to kinda lay on the beach, like a beach blanket for the kids to kinda like um, spread out all their stuff. But it's kinda like a repeat of um, the kids so you know you got your swimsuits cover up these are all my like, shorts and stuff that I'm bringing I got some capri pants these are like some linen pants in case you know there's like a cool night on the beach or something like that um, underwear socks when you see all that <laughs> um, like some soft shorts if I want to go like you know just cover up over my bathing suit or 
like just as bottoms or um, go around the beach or something like that, something ambitious like that. I'm not sure that'll happen. Um, pajamas and then um, shirts and stuff. I've got a couple little like sundresses here. My cute little hat that I just recently got from Target Dollar Spot. Some sunglasses. I also have some aviators I'm gonna bring and just a regular like a ball cap style hat. Um, I have my little 31. These things are so handy. Um, I'm gonna pack this full of stuff as well, especially with this insert so it stands up really well. These are so good. Um, also, we got these little dye sticks for the kids to play with in the pool. So I got a pack of these wet ones because I just like to have these on hand to like clean the kids' hands if we need to. Um, I also got these Clorox wipes because you never know if there's like a, some surfaces or something you need to clean down. Okay, I wanted to share, I do have like a little beach checklist and I just prefer to um, write it all out by hand because it's just easiest for me instead of trying to put it on my phone or like type it and print it out. Um, I just write everything out and then, you know, as I'm thinking or going around getting other things, if I think something else, I can just add it to it. But to get the kids some new sunscreen the other day, I was trying to like Google search and see what's good for kids. So I chose to do this Banana Boat Kids Sport and also this Neutrogena one, Wet Skin Kids Beach and Pool. So got them two new um, sunscreens. And then we're going to pack this. We already had this on hand, but just in case, hopefully no one gets burned, but just in case, this Aloe After Sun Gel by Banana Boat. This works pretty good too. And then I have another 31 tote. My mom got me this um, with the Newmans on there. Um, I just have some beach towels put in there right now, but I'm not sure if I'll leave those in there or I may put those in everyone's, put each kid's um, towel in their suitcase and then maybe um, pack food or something else in this to take with. Okay, and here is all my stuff. It's, it looks like a lot and when I think about it, I don't think that it's gonna be that much and I lay it all out and I'm like, holy crap, there's a lot of products here. Um, but I try to go as low maintenance as possible at the beach. Like for instance, I was going to bring my Revlon like hair blow dryer. Like it's a, um, the brush blow dryer, but I was like, let's get real. I have naturally curly hair. I'm at the beach. I do not think I'm going to want to take time to straighten and blow dry my hair. So I'm just gonna go with curly hair at the beach and bring my frizzies. Okay, and I'm gonna be a little bit high maintenance, I guess, with my um, hairspray. I've got my regular Trust Me hairspray. And this one is the Climate Protection. Um, it says fights humidity, like static and the wind and stuff. And so I know I get like hot and sweaty and then my hair gets kind of frizzy and crazy. So that's helped out quite a bit to use this spray a little water bottle like a spray bottle to spray our hair especially mine being curly to kind of help revive the curls and then my oldest son sprays his hair before he brushes it so it'll actually lay down and I have my wet brush this is what I'm taking for my sunscreen and then also this I used this the other day and I really do like it so it's a mineral SPF which is pretty cool SPF of 50 um, and it's a bronzing one. So it, it gives a little bit of color as you can see I've got still a little bit here on the thing So it gives you color and it makes you kind of like shiny and sparkly in the Sun Not like too crazy, but a little bit of a really nice um, Sheen when you really look at your skin. It looks really pretty and then just in case um, You know if you have any imperfections or whatever um, I got this I think I've maybe used this once, like last year or something. So I'm going to pack it just in case. I have to bring my full size of this to wash my hair since I have it color treated with the blonde in it. Um, I don't have anything smaller to put that in. So I've got to bring the full size of that. Deodorant, my face wash. I like to use this little brush to wash my face with. My nighttime moisturizer. Um, these are the little flossers that my husband and I like to use. These are for the kids. And then their toothpaste, um, a razor. This is the um, lotion I'm gonna bring, and my body mist, both of course from Bath and Body Works that I showed in that haul recently. My cotton rounds um, to take off makeup and stuff. This is what I'm bringing for makeup. So for eyeshadow, I'm just bringing the Manator palette and my little um, L'Oreal pressed eyeshadow in Amber Rush. 
um, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer highlighter instead of my Becca one because this one's much less expensive in case it gets damaged or lost. Um, I was going to bring my MAC Peaches blush. It's my favorite, but I didn't want to bring my big palette that it's in, so I'm just going to bring Luminoso. I'm going to bring this just in case. I don't think I'm going to really want to contour. I don't think I'm going to care about contouring at the beach, but just in case, you never know. If I want to get fancy. Um, my NYX Matte Bronzer, and then here we go. So, um, my Daytime Moisturizer, my Primer. I'm just using this as my um, foundation. I don't really like to use foundation during the summer, especially at the beach. So I'm going to use that, this CoverGirl BB cream. I've been loving this lately. It's really, really good. I normally use my Maybelline um, Fit Me concealer, but I'm going to bring this flower one that I've been testing out and it's pretty good so far. Um, my Orly Kiss the Bride nail polish that um, I've been wearing recently. More nail stuff just in case with my nail file, my witch hazel because I love that for my face. And then over here, I did put these into smaller containers. This is like um, contact solution in here, mouthwash, and then this is like micellar water to cleanse my face to get the makeup off at night. My contacts, extra contacts in there. Um, this is like all my eye stuff. So my um, tinted brow mascara in case I want to do my brows. I got my little brow stylist thing my eyeliners This is for the waterline and then um, a waterproof mascara um, Toothpaste this is gonna be my toothpaste holder. These are the lip products. That I'm gonna bring I love these L'Oreal like lip shines. They are really good and These Milani lipsticks Milani lip gloss and this is a clear lip gloss, but I got pink in it. So whatever <laughs> and I'll probably put like, all my eye like pencils and mascara and my um, nail file and things in this little bag and this will probably just go in my purse and then I have all these bags so all these are for 31 um, so I've got this that will hold a lot this actually I like the lining in that in case anything kind of spills I like to put like liquids and stuff in there because it's easily wipeable I just have extra like cotton stuff in there um this is an insulated bag so i like to put like our snacks and stuff to like head down to the beach this is a oops a family organizer from 31 so i'll put like a lot of my liquids and um bath things in there and kind of hang that up in the bathroom when we get there so a lot of these um liquidy products will go in there <clears throat> and then I'm not sure if I'm bringing this or not, but it's just like, it's kind of like a big 31 tote or a big bag thing. Yes, yeah, so here is everything and just got to get it all packed away now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you jewelry wise. I try to keep it to the bare minimum for jewelry. Um, I got these earrings here. So there's what four pairs of earrings. This is a, actually an anklet. I love this little hibiscus flower on there. I've been enjoying wearing an anklet again, so... I like that one a lot. These are like little um, layering necklaces. And then this is a layering necklace also that I got recently from Target. And then my watch. And then these are the makeup brushes. It's just like an old Avon like traveling case. But to me, this is pretty pared down as far as makeup brushes go. So I'm gonna like um, wash these really well and then let those dry. But these are all the makeup brushes that I'm gonna take. So it's nice to have those all in one spot. Oh, and I can't forget my Real Techniques sponge, so i got to clean this one, of course, as well as you see. So that will definitely be going with me, too.
as you can see, I was able to fit everything all in these um, bags here. I wish, I kind of wish this zipped or was a little bit bigger, but um, I normally just put toiletry type things in there and um, have to set it up front with me so it doesn't get like knocked over in the back of the van. We always bring these like flushable wipes. I'm gonna have an extra little thing of um, hand sanitizer. Ugh. And my little container for my soap. I have my clothes laid out for the morning and I have all the kids clothes laid out as well so we can just throw them on. Okay, I've been looking through and seeing all like beach toys we have from years past and we have this big bucket here with like beach toys down in there. Uh, and this net netting, like this mesh bag is really um, handy to take because you know it's got the handle so it's easy for myself or my husband or one of the kids to kind of throw it over our shoulder and then all the sand just kind of sifts out as we're carrying it from the beach. We're going to bring the little nets. They're kind of more like butterfly type nets but I don't know sometimes the kids like um, you know using those in the water in the ocean. So I think, I think we're going to bring those and then I've got this beach ball. I'm not sure if we'll really use it in the pool or it'll be too much of like a irritant for other people. And then as far as snacks go, we've already opened up this Jesus, I may take what's left of those and then I don't know if I should take one or two of the bags of the goldfish because they go through those pretty quickly especially you know when you're on the beach and you want something to snack on some bread for sandwiches um, we have a few packs of um, popcorn I mean just I'm gonna take these out of the box so the box doesn't take up space my daughter has a pop-tart left um, some of these cliff bars the boys like I take those out of the box uh, real uh, paper towels just in case I mean the condo should have those but just in case um, or if we have any spills in the car or anything um, some peanut butter tortilla chips and um, pretzels and then again the condo should have these but just in case aluminum foil and then the press and seal wrap some spaghetti noodles just in case you want to eat dinner at the condo one night I gotta find Sam's water bottle, but the kids um, have their own water bottles. They can throw those in those little beach bags. And then we have the kids' vitamins. My husband likes to bring some Tums. Um, so ibuprofen, just in case one of us gets a headache. Um, Benadryl, this is my husband's been using this because the mosquitoes have been um, kind of eating him up. So he wanted to bring this, some Visine, um, the kids' Tylenol, just in case. And I just put my uh, multivitamins in a little baggie for each day. I normally don't really go out to the store and like buy a whole lot of food before we go to pack it and like have to carry it all down there. Normally places that we stay are pretty close to a grocery store or a Walmart, even better. Um, and we'll just go there and figure out like what groceries we want to buy or there's any kind of um, pool or beach things that we uh, want to buy while we're down there. And we'll just do it that way so we're not lugging a bunch of food and cold stuff, you know, a six, seven hour drive um, down to Florida. We could just use or buy what we're going to use for the week and then use it up and then, you know, not have really anything left over to take back home with us. So we're not transporting a lot of food back and forth. Um, when the kids were really little, we'd get one of those big canopy things and put the quilt on the sand. The past couple years, we haven't really needed a big canopy and the kids are older. We don't need a, we don't need near as much as we did when they were babies. They're not as needy um, of different products as they were, you know, when we first started going down to the beach for family vacation. So uh, we just do like two big umbrellas now. The big umbrellas are big enough for all of us to sit under and the kids have plenty of shade. So like, you know not in the sun the whole time um Wyatt got a metal detector for Christmas and a little scoop and trowel thing so I think we're gonna like maybe bring that and try that out and see if it works um I have all our shoes laid out so I'll put each person's shoes like in a grocery bag kind of thing so they're not like out loose you don't like lose a shoe and I don't ever pack like dirty shoes on top of their clothes or anything like that in their suitcases and we normally do like a blanket and a pillow for the four of us poor daddy has to drive the whole time um so we'll have like a blanket and a pillow in the car and then sometimes they'll bring like a stuffed animal or something with them okay so this is what i was able to fit in here with um just some food items and some like a little bit of medicine and stuff 
so all that's in there and then their water cups will fill these up with water and take this in the car with us and then my husband can put those in his bag and I also wanted to say I can link the video below I did a video like when I very first started my channel about what we do before we leave on vacation we put our um, lights on a timer we board our dog with her vet's office so that she's taken care of. We put a hold on our mail. Um, I go around the house, I make sure things are kind of straightened up, dishes to be done, laundry to be caught up, um, the toilets to be cleaned, all the um, trash to be emptied so you're not coming home to something gross, hopefully. <laughs> kind of go around and make sure everything is done the way it needs to so that we can get up and just get ourselves in the car basically, get dressed, get teeth brushed, in the car ready to go that morning because we're leaving super early that morning to go to the beach okay and so i believe that's it you saw how i had the kids clothes laid out and then i was able to pack all their stuff pretty quickly and then my stuff my husband gets all his stuff together so that is it thank you guys for hanging out with me and kind of packing and getting ready for vacation with me we're excited to go and spend some time in florida on the beach i hope you guys are able to have a maybe a fun summer fun summer vacation as well and i will talk to you all very soon thanks guys bye